Hello everyone. Today we are discussing about the Browning reactions. It's an intro to the Browning reactions. Well, first of all, we should know what is Browning. Food turns brown in color when it is subjected to the, subjected to the heat. Browning is the process of food turning brown due to some reactions which takes place in it. The process of food browning is one of the most important reactions that takes place in the food chemistry and represent an interesting research topic regarding health, nutrition and food technology. Well, we come across two words, two terms in fact, when we deal about the browning reactions. It's the desirable browning and the undesirable browning. Browning which is desirable, which is necessary for the food we are preparing. It's called desirable browning, but whereas food which is not essential, not necessary for uh, the type of food uh, when, it, when, it is, when it is undergoing the process or cooking is known as the undesirable browning. So the desirable browning, we can give an example of the bread. Bread, is, bread comes, under, comes under the category of desirable browning. We all need the bread which is well baked which is well brown in color we do, no one consumes the bread which is white in color neither the dark one but whereas a bread which is completely baked and brown in color will be liked by everyone and the undesirable browning um, no one likes the bananas which are brown in color so it is an undesirable browning even the fats few fats turned brown uh, when they are uh, left aside for months actually. So they, uh, they react with the outer environment and turn brown in color. Even it is an undesirable browning. No one like to consume the fats which are brown in color. So types of browning. Browning can be categorized into the following. This is the enzymatic browning, non-enzymatic browning, ascorbic acid browning, and the lipid browning. So basically, the enzymatic, non-enzymatic, acid, and the fat growth. Coming to the enzymatic browning, because of an enzyme called polyphenol oxidase, this polyphenol oxidase reacts with the outer environment, or particularly with the oxygen present in the environment, and turn into brown color, and gives rise to brown color. The phenols present in uh, present in the food material gets oxidized and results in the formation of melanin which is brown in color so melanin is the end product which which gives the brown color to the food here is the chemical structure it's the polyphenol ppo when reacts with the oxygen turns into octoquinin you can see the picture of the potato which turns brown in color which which turns from white to brown color um, so when potato, a half cut potato is exposed to the outer environment, it starts browning and um, after, when it is left aside, uh, after some time it turns partially brown, when it is left aside for more time, much more time, it turns completely brown. So coming to the non-enzymatic browning, here we have to deal, deal with the caramelization, Millard reaction. These are the basic non-enzymatic brownings. These reactions come under non-enzymatic browning and the food material turns brown due to the heat. No enzymatic activity takes place in the browning. So no polyphenol oxidase in the non-enzymatic browning. Basically these two terms, caramelization and the Maillard reactions are very, very important for the examinations. Every time the examiner is going to ask the same questions in the midterm and the interim examinations. So caramelization, sugar when heated at 163 degrees centigrade turns brown in color. And the end product of the caramelization is melanoidins. This reaction is known as caramelization. Caramelized sugars is widely used in the Western cuisines, particularly a dish called nougat paralines, which is made up of the caramelized sugar, caramelized the candies, caramelized um, jelly is caramelization is the most important reaction in the first and second semesters of uh, food technology so mostly they're going to deal with the caramelization only in the second semester um, 
even the dishes indian dishes like chana murki and chakkar para chakkar para these are purely based upon the caramelization temperatures and the the way we caramelize the sugar it also occurs in the other fruits and vegetables when onion is heated it turns brown in color as the sugar in it gets caramelized here is the chemical structure and there is no need to buy heart anything but whereas you should know the proper uh, temperature at which sugar gets caramelized and you should know the definition proper that what is caramelization here you can see the sugar get uh, sugar caramelizing this is called caramel and we are um, people who deal with the food technology want to make toffees and candies out, out of the caramelized sugar in the in their second semester pilard reaction amino acid is react with reducing sugar with the help of the heat result in the formation of melanoidins or the brown color it's simple as simple as this just the protein reacts with the sugar present in the food material with the action of the heat both of them they starts reacting it turns into brown color and the end product is melanoidin so you have to write like this that the amino acids react with the reducing sugar in the presence of heat gives rise to melanoidins and the color of melanoidin is brown color so the end product will be brown in color and this is a desirable change this is a desirable browning when bread gets when bread undergoes the maillard reaction it turns brown in color because the protein called gluten reacts with the sugar present in the wheat and turn and gives the brown color it is a desirable change here is the chemical structure and again there is no need to buy hard this here is the bread which is brown in color and the third one is the ascorbic acid browning when the strawberries are cut uh, when when the strawberries are cut in are cut, um are cut into pieces and kept aside for a while um they turn brown after some time this is because of the acid react reaction with the environment outer environment gases in the outer environment the auxin reacts with the acid ascorbic acid present in the strawberry and the strawberry is turned brown after some time this is called ascorbic acid it mostly occurs in the strawberries you can't see this ascorbic uh, acid in the other fruits which is which has the ascorbic acid in it but mostly it occurs in the strawberries and the lipid browning most of the lipids they don't turn brown actually it is only confined to the coconut oils so when the coconut oils are kept aside for longer durations they turn brown in color you people from the southern india they uh, they can uh, they can see this lipid browning normally it can't be seen in the regular vegetable oils or the hydrolyzed oils normally it doesn't happen but in rare cases it occurs in the oils due to the presence of any chemical substance in the in the oil mostly it is seen in the coconut oil here is the ascorbic acid browning uh, the picture of the strawberry conclusion browning reactions are necessary for the color and the taste of the food product that's true new methods should be invented for the pre prevention of the undesirable browning so um, food technologists they are working on new and new methods to prevent the brownings because no one wants the food which uh, which is actually dark brown in color um, if it is desirable it's okay but whereas undesirable changes um, do happen in the food so they are trying to reduce the brown in that thank you